It is Manchester United 3, Aston Villa 2. Manchester United with a dramatic comeback after being two goals to nil down at half time, down and out. Then making a dramatic comeback in the second half. And what a wonderful second half it was for us Manchester United fans. Because in that first 45 minutes, we was angry. We was pissed off. We was annoyed. We was like, God damn it, this team has done it again. But guess what? Football is one beautiful thing after a comeback. But that doesn't excuse the fact that there were some problems. We have some major problems. I can excuse... The win, yes, we won, but I can never excuse the fact that we were shit in the first 45 minutes and it was looking horrible. These players, again, have showed us that we cannot trust them. But they showed fight today. And fight, they did. They had the fighting spirit that Eric Turner has always said. I want my team to have the fighting spirit. And they showed fight and got and made a dramatic U-turn and came back in that second half. I'm happy about that, but we've got a lot of things to digest and look into regarding today's game. Overall, guys, if I look at the first 45 minutes, I thought we was horrible for the, from the start. You know, the night from the start. Conceding goals from set pieces. We was toothless going forward that time. Um, again, it was, it, it was just horrible in the first 45 minutes. Giving the ball away, not being able to create opportunities. And the first goal, which came from Aston Villa as well, um, came out of nowhere. John McGinn with the free kick. You, can you believe? It touched absolutely no one. But guess what? It found its way in the back of the net. And Andre Onana again, once again, looks like a silly willy. Silly sausage. A silly billy. Silly billy. Seriously, Onana. I was like, oh, nah, 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 nah. Nah. Oh, hell nah, Onana. This goalkeeping is costing us, yeah? I know the defensive organisation was poor when we conceded that goal. But we should not concede a goal like that. It touched absolutely no one. It could have touched Watkins, but the defensive organisation was atrocious for Manchester United. Which led to the second goal, which Manchester United conceded from another set piece, which was well taken by Aston Villa. Then Donker, flick on, in the corner, was too damn easy. Toothpick Varane was, I don't know, it bounced off of him. And then, quick finish, Toothpick Varane couldn't do anything. He couldn't do anything. He couldn't do anything. 2-0 to Aston Villa at halftime. Us Manchester United fans were fuming. I was outraged. I was like, you men better come out in the second half and show me something different. Show us that you want to come back. You can do it like it's Adam Sandler movie. And guess what? We did it. You can do it. And we did it. The second off Manchester United coming back with a first goal. You know what? Before we even get to the first goal, let's not forget that we had a goal disallowed. Mark Rashford all of a sudden found form, found himself, took his limitless pill and started making the right decision. Boom! I know the goal was disallowed, but it was like, what the hell, ref? Are you against us again? It was offside. But Rashford could have just continued going, but Gnacho could have held his run and slid it to him and it would have been a legitimate goal. We would have been looking at 4-2 right now. But the same as that goal came, Marrakesh Rashford again, sorting out Konza, because Konza was eating up Rashford in the first 45 minutes. Rashford looked clueless in the first 45 minutes. Laying the ball, low cross, and then finding Alejandro Ganacho to make it 2-1 and said, you know what, not this time, ref, this is onside. And it was truly onside. And then the second goal came from Manchester United, and then Ganacho star boy, who didn't have the best 45 minutes, but in the second half became extra lively as well. Ganacho, woo! I have to say, that rebound coming off of um, John McGinn, for Gnacho to, I mean, not from John McGinn, McGinn wasn't, didn't come off for that, but the, the rebound where he found, and Gnacho finishing it off well, Gnacho making it 2-2, you know what, Gnacho hats off to him. And then the third goal coming from my man, Walt Weggles 2.0, Rasmus Hoyle finally getting his first goal. Oh, exciting times for Rasmus Hoyle. What a time to get your first goal. Especially coming from a set piece as well, because we had no confidence of us scoring from set pieces, because we don't score from set pieces. But guess what? He did it. The deflection coming off of John McGinn, and then Rasmus Hoyle finishing it off well to make it 3 2 for Manchester United. Wonderful. Wonderful, 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 guys. And it was a great comeback, dramatic comeback. The comebacks that we like to see. However, 
the football in the first 45 minutes was concerning. This team, these players, I cannot trust. I'm glad that we won 3-2. I'm glad we got the three points. But hey, football's great when you win games like that. And you've you got to be happy. You've got to be cheerful. You've got to be thinking you're a bit sour if you're not happy about this comeback. But still, we shouldn't be going through this. And that's the video of a good team. I understand that. But Manchester United, there's so much to worry about. But what a great way for the new owners that put in their 25% to have a look, to see and assess the club, to see what he's fixing. And guess what? Edwin van der Soor was at the stand today. I wonder why. And I wonder what's going on down there. But it is what it is, guys. But yes, guys, this has been your match reaction from your boy, Alvaro Spice. You guys let me know what your thoughts of today's game. Who was your man in the match? Who was your donkey of the match? Was Edwin van der Soor there to become part of the Manchester United board? I mean, or the new CEO or the director of football. You guys let me know in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are. But we are back live tomorrow, 8 p.m. UK for the catch up to review this game with the Mandem. So make sure you guys tune in as well. As always, remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it red united. Smash that like button, subscribe, and also click on the membership. Till next time, peace. We got our free praise, baby.